So we finally have Project Elixir version 4.0 which is based on Android 14. Got a lot of comments regarding this one too and I was wondering if I could install this thing. So here it is. We've installed Project Elixir based on Android 14. Some of the wallpapers are pre-included even in the quick wallpaper picker. For example, this is the one. This is the default wallpaper. So of course the wallpaper is new and a new wallpaper is introduced. Another wallpaper is this one. This also looks good. And we have one more wallpaper available there. Let me show you by putting this widget once again. If I click on hold here and this is the one. So we have some wallpapers included. We will get into these wallpapers very, very soon. Let's have a quick look at some of the basic details for example it's based on android 14 it is having the latest security patch of course the latest january security patch and its elixir version is 4.0 Based on Android 14, the features that you were looking forward to are always available. They're already available there. Some of the features are missing and we will talk about the features which are available. The missing features might be included in the upcoming updates for now. This is what we have available for many devices. Moving on to the settings UI first of all. Settings UI as expectedly having the card style UI a bit of improved as compared to Android 13 style. In Android 13 style, the UI was kind of same but at the header the settings header it was a little bit different so basically you can say layout is adjusted some other things are changed but this is what we have if you are looking to launch if you're looking forward to launcher it's pixel launcher it's not the modified launcher in case you want to try out any modified launcher i recently made a video on evolution x os launcher which you can install as a magisk module so router device install evolution x launcher port and i made a video on my other channel so you can go and watch out in case you want to Moving on to the quick settings panel, as expectedly the quick settings panel is in light mode, but we have separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles are available. Other than else, things are basically same here. And also the quick settings panels icon pack is looking a little bit different. So which means we have custom icon pack available. We will get into that later on. Moving on to the settings way once again, the features and else what we have, for example, in the battery section, you will see a little bit new things. For example, the battery graph, it's looking a bit different as compared to normal ones. Notification history is also present here. Sound and vibration, you will see the screenshot sound and per app volume control option is also present. Some switches are also kind of changed here. In the more security and privacy options, you will not find the app lock, unfortunately. I'm not exactly sure if you're using a paid version, if it is available there, but in the free version, app locker is not present in case you want to choose. In case you want to use that, you can use custom launcher for that. Other than else, enhanced win privacy or security options are kind of same. In system settings, you will find some gestures where we have gesture navigation, but we do not have the option to hide the IME space below the keyboard. The option which is available in some of the custom rooms like Matrix OS, Project, sorry, Evolution X OS, and a lot more other custom rooms too. It's not present in this case. Playback control is there in case you want to use this feature or we have the swipe to screenshot which is also present here in case you choose this one to use. Developer options and else things are basically same. I'm not exactly sure about the OTA updates with this one but other than else moving on to the customizations. We have theming, we have many options in the terms of theming but for example signal icons customizations, Wi-Fi icons customizations, fonts, there are many options available for you. Right now I'm using Cocon fonts in case you want to choose any other you can choose that. We have even some pre-installed themes available you can choose any one of them in case you want to. Icon pack one I'm using right now is Lawn L-O-R-N signal icons wi-fi icons brightness slider is not having any customization but else we have data icon style so this was about the theming section lock screen kind of same here we have screen of animations edge lighting in case you want to choose some fingerprint related options and the ripple effect which you can enable or disable the double tap to sleep gesture is also present i don't use this feature much but it's present here in case you want to choose in case you want to use that you can even in the status bar options, the useful thing is data disabled icon which you can hide and it's there. We also have the option for battery icon styles. For example, most of the times I use landscape iOS 16 style. It's present here. The traffic indicators which means that network speed meter is also present here. 
the background chip behind the clock it's not present here in this version so i'm not exactly sure if it is available in the paid version else things are basically same we had the status bar customizations we had the theming options quick settings is also not having the option related to quick settings ui for example android 11 style ui it's not present here but in case you are not interested in that then you do not have any issues we have the option related to data usage we have the option related to hide quick settings in the secure lock screen too in miscellaneous, you will find the ignore window secure flags that is quite useful. Heads up, less annoying feature is there. It's not having the island notification or retaker notification, but heads up, less annoying feature is present here. In call vibration options are also present. Last but not the least, some gaming options in case you are a gamer. So this was about the thing. This was an overview of this custom room project Elixir based on Android 14. One more thing is it is having some cool wallpapers pre-included. You can simply move on here, click on wallpapers and style more wallpapers. You will find many wallpapers already included. Random walls, elixir walls. You can choose any one of them or you can choose any wallpaper from them in case you want to. So these were things I just wanted to let you know. In case you want to try it out on a device, let me tell you that this is a private source custom room as far as I know. This is a closed source basically. So it is not available unofficially as far as I know. So in case you want to try out this one, make sure it is available officially for your device. This is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Make sure to like this video. Goodbye.